Immune. Somebody say immune. Immune. Yeah. I went and seen Contagious. Movie, Contagious. And boy, I tell you, I don't want to give him no free advertisement, but it puts so much thought in my mind. Um, contagious, immune. God said, now you know what? Who put your immune system in your body? Now some people, you're touching this one, breathing on you. I'm on the plane, coming back. Just saw the movie last night. Man, beside me, couldn't stop coughing. <laughs> My God. I'm like, what am I going to do? I said, we just go to sleep. I said, you know what, man? I always keep some medicine on me. I was like, yeah, you want some aspirin or something? I got 500 milligrams. You take two of these, you feel better. I really wanted to give him three. <laughs> I just wanted him to go to sleep. Because whatever he had, I didn't want to have it. And it's just real close. When you're, when you, you know, you're, you're, you're first class and last class, and I was in last class. And I'm sitting here. Now, that coach, don't believe that's a mind thing. It's first class or last class, trust me. You know, you've seen the peanuts. You know, while they up there eating steaks, you're getting peanuts. Okay. Now, Then he started to sneeze. I said, wait a minute, hey, yo. Okay. All right, excuse me. Can I, let, let me up, let me up, let me, let me up, let me up. So I went and stood in the aisle. I said, well, I don't even need to sit down. Not that bad. <laughs> I said, I don't need to sit down that bad. I'm okay. I went back there and I talked to the... Um, to the uh, flight attendants and, and we begin to talk about immune and, and talk about some of the things that God was doing and, and God started blessing and, the boy, and he, um, by the way he did take the, the two 500 milligram and the praise the Lord he went to sleep so right before the flight came down I was able to go back to my seat and sit down and gather myself somebody say amen now, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not telling you not that, that, that I'm just so don't want to be around nobody, but when, you know, when you start thinking about it, we're all one. We're all one. Now, all this separatism that we call racism and socialism and politics and all this other stuff, Democrats and uh, Pharisees and Republicans and all these things that makes us in different groups, divide us and so forth. Let there be a plague. Let a disease come to where it's airborne. Where you're scared to touch another person. See, right now your immune system was built by God. Mm-hmm. That's what AIDS, see, when AIDS, it starts, when your immune system is attacked and you can't, everything gets in. See, if, if your immune system ain't strong, Hallelujah. You can die from a cold. You get chicken pops, you gone. Don't even get to the flu if you ain't got no immune system. Huh? Wrong person breathe on you, baby. You're out of here if you ain't got no immune system. Oh, come on now. This ain't no science class. But let me explain something to you. Your immune system and your spirituality has to be immune to those folks, has to be strong, has to be strong enough to fight off, has to be strong enough to fight off ignorance, fear, obstacles, difficulties in your life. You got to build up your spirituality, your immune system. 
Hallelujah. How do you strengthen your immune, your spiritual immune system? You can't let everybody knock you off your horse. You got to become immune to somebody that says, Jesus ain't the one. Now you know that's been working for you. All your life, Jesus has been working for you. Every morning you wake up, the sun ain't never not there. Even when you don't see the whole big brown light, he shine through the clouds. You know it's day. Maybe a foggy day. And we're going to have foggy days in our lives. And you're going to have to go out in the rain. You're going to catch a cold sometime. But if your immune system is strong enough to fight it off, you're going to live another day. Somebody say amen. amen. Oh, no, 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 no. I ain't going to leave you out there. Did somebody say dictionary moment? Let's make sure we're all on the same page when we start talking about immune. Immune, protect, protection from a disease or the like as by inoculation. Of or pertaining to the product of antibodies. This is the one I like. Exempt or protected. Hallelujah. Your spiritual strength in your immune system can protect you from all those things you think is so difficult that you can't overcome. Okay, let's go to the Jumeirah uh, Deuteronomy 1 and 19. Let me just show you how fear, how fear can stop you, can be a spreading disease in your life. Fear. Fear is our biggest problem, you know. Fear. You're afraid you ain't going to make it. You're afraid to take the risk. Now, you know what? This man then opened up the Red Sea for them. Then I came over the other line. Eleven days. It took them 40 years to make an 11-day journey. 40 years to make an 11-day journey. Ain't that something? You see what fear do for you? Fear will keep you as far away. It's like a disease. And it's contagious. Fear is contagious. You know? Let me explain something to you. Let's go over here. 119 through 22nd. You know, my dad used to have somebody say, read. Yeah, I remember when I used to let me put them glasses back on. Now, and when we departed from Hurab, we went through all that great and terrible wilderness. All them 40 years, they wandered in the wilderness. Huh? Wandering in the wilderness. Sometimes we be just wandering in the wilderness. Promised land already been given to you. Already been given to you, W. You already, you already seen it. You've already envisioned and dreamed about it. You know you're good enough. You done talked about it. You and your friends done discussed it. You know you're smart enough. You know you're pretty enough. You just wonder why you ain't found your way out of the wilderness. Let me help you. Let me help you. Let me help you. Which ye saw by the way of the mountains of the Amorites, as the Lord God commanded us, and we came to Kadesh. I need the Kadesh, y'all. And I said unto you, ye are come unto the mountain of the Amorites, which the Lord our God do give us. Unto us. And they know it's a gift. They know God done gave them this mountain now. Behold, the Lord thy God has set the land before thee. Go up and possess it as the Lord God of thy father has said unto thee. And what he said, Fear not. 
neither be discouraged. See, the Amorites, them are some bad boys now. They want no, them, that's some difficult. Those are my obstacles. They, 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 the same God that dried, sent you through the sea, sent you straight through the Red Sea, huh? Brought you through the flu because he put your immune system in you. He let you get well, but now that you get cancer or something else, you just don't feel like he can heal this. Your immune system ain't strong enough. Your spiritual immune system just ain't strong enough to fight this off. You, this, this, is, this, is, this is one of them bad things. You done heard the people dying from this now. Oh, Lord, no. Uh-uh. You just, oh, my God. Oh, God. Like, oh, no. Whoa, well, why me? Everything happened to me. Shut up. And fear not. Be quiet. And listen. And ye near... And ye came near unto me, every one of you, and said, we will send men before us. They so afraid. We're going to send somebody else up there. Look, check it out. You try to rethink what God done gave you already. Instead of having the courage to just walk up there and get it. He said, I gave it to you. It's right over here. Now, you want to run another 40 years in the wilderness? I'm showing you, you're at the promised land. That's why you've been running for 40 years, because you was in fear. And all y'all was in fear, so it's just like a disease. It spread like a plague. That's why ghettos is in every city. Come on now. I'm going to bring you home. Don't worry about it. And they shall search us out the land and bring us word again by what way we must go up and into what the city we shall come. Which way we need to go up in there and get what God done asked for us? I'm going to tell you which way you need to go. I'm going to tell you where you need to go. You better confront your fear in your life right now. God has built your immune system up so strong so you can take any, any discouragement that comes your way. Somebody tell you you can't do something? I want you to just look at him and just smile. You have no idea who I got on my side. But see, you know, you know it's, and that's going to come overnight now. You got you to gotta build your spiritual immune system up to the fact to where you can't catch them kind of colds. Well, see, people start talking all out of line. You already know because what? Knowledge is your power. Amen. You got to have knowledge of the word. If you don't know who your father is, how are you going to collect the money? And he done left you a million dollars in the bank. He left you his will. It's been working for you. You still here, you're breathing, right? You got a cold, you got sick, but you, you, you came through after four or five days. Huh? Oh, come on now. See, the one thing that I've always found out I've always found them. I know the symptoms. I know the symptoms of failure. That's why I always was able to be successful, because I know the symptoms. First of all, when you're by yourself, you're real honest. And when you're in front of somebody else, you're very pretentious. One item of unsuccessful because see all that time you've been acting and if that's really what you want to do go to hollywood they got they get you get paid for that you know here here you are in front of somebody probably can give you a job but you're so busy flashing all your fake louis vuitton and gucci's or maybe you did, was crazy enough to go down there and pay $500 for a bag, and they're about to put you out. Maybe you did that. I don't know why you want these people's name attached on you. They don't, you're making them successful. They're not making you successful. Hello? I don't understand it. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I mean, I get lost. See, you got to be immune to somebody taking your mind. See, when you're spiritually bankrupt, it's hard. See, 
Give me this little I gotta get, I, I, I gotta get, I gotta give you this, and I want you to digest it real easy. And so we're gonna put a little music with it. See, the symptoms, the very symptoms of a cold. You can just start sniffing, start having chills. You know you're coming down with a cold, and the doctor don't never know how to cure it. His word for what he can't understand, he calls a viral infection. It's a virus. Everything's a virus. You ever notice that? Every time he said that, I'd be like, he don't know what he's doing. They give me some aspirins. They give me some bad aspirins. I'm cold it. I'll go get something myself. Huh? See, the obstacles, the skepticism, the difficulty, it controls our lives. That's control, it controls you now. You know, you got people that have been trying to lose weight for so long. Even those that don't even need to lose no weight. They still won't lose weight. Because they just ain't going to never be good enough. Skepticism. How's somebody going to see them? They saw somebody else that maybe look, look a little bit better than them. Oh, well, you know, you need to be a mason. You need to be a mason to really uh, be a president. Or uh, if, you, if you become a mason, or if you become a, a certain group, a certain society group, if you get into this, this is going to propel your success. I'm not saying that. Don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that that won't help you. But if you're relying on that, you're sick. I'm sorry, I hate to call you that, but I mean, you really are. A, see, the thing is, it, it's a disease. See, the TV predicates it. They just throw it in your face. This is how you're supposed to look. This is how you're supposed to love. This is how, this is, this. So automatically, you don't even know that you're being infected. Next thing you know, you're off doing something to get, oh, I'm just trying to make me some money. I don't like this job. I want to make me some money. I got to make me some money. I don't like this job. Next thing you know, you're coming home. What's going on? I can't stand that dude, man. He's just so self-centered. He fired me. He know you didn't like the job. See, the word of God cast out all fear. Isn't that what his word says? See, I can't even get past fear until you all understand that you're afraid. You're afraid because you're infected. And it's so contagious. It's so contagious. Somebody can come in the room right now and just mess up your spirit if you're not immune to that. Now, sometimes we're immune to new growth and new knowledge you know like the you know like <laughs> some of the old folks that was in the church I get up and sang a song cause I put a beat to it give me a funky beat right quick give me a funky beat just, just give, give me a funky beat I put a, I put a funky beat to it uh, just give me in the, in the, in the, in the, in the beat just give me give me something give me something give me something funky yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I come in there doing a lot like this here. Yeah. Yeah. What we're doing in the church now, these young people are something else. Sit down, child. They can't stand nothing new. And I'm going, yay! <laughs> He's trying to do James Brown in the church. Who you think gave Jane Brown the music? Devil don't own no music. You think you can put this thing, put this thing down and pick it up? Cut it. You think you can put pick this thing, put it down, and then pick it up? You're gonna put it down, then pick it up when you get ready? No, you better get your you, you you're spiritually bankrupt. I'm not putting you down now. But you're spiritually bankrupt. If that's what you feel, 
Now, all I'm trying to do is do what? Empower your mind and make you immune. Take that stuff off. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Lay, it. Lay the Gucci down. Lay the Levorton down, whatever they call it. LV, the LV. Them LV be so crooked on some of that bootleg stuff. Wait till you can afford it. Now, if you can afford it, wear all the stuff you want to. But it still ain't going to make you the money. It don't make you better, baby. <laughs> Sometimes money. Well, they say, well, I'd I rather, I rather have it and, and not have it. I, I, I'd rather be arguing about something else other than money. I got you now. I, 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 I just rather have me some money. Because I see how people treat folks when they ain't got it. <laughs> what did I got to say? You sure was telling the truth. <laughs> when you ain't got no money, you, you start looking like you ain't got no money. <laughs> it's one thing not to have no money, but if you start looking like you ain't got none, oh my Lord, you can forget it. They going to kick you to the curb. Oh, this ain't the kind of sermon that y'all wanted to hear. But I can tell you one thing. I'm immune to your criticism because I do what God asks me to say. <laughs> Fear evaporates when we trust God. Somebody say amen. Fear evaporates. See, when we sing these songs, don't you feel your spirit just like, ooh. Let me tell you another secret. Cut the TV off. Cut the radio off. Come on, man. How many times you don't listen to the same 10 songs? <sighs> don't go to the movies. He said, oh, Lord, what are you talking about now? But just saying for a day. One 24 hours. Walk around in silence. It may scare you to death what you hear. Just meditate. Just try it. Ride in your car. Don't, don't call nobody on the phone. Put the phone down. In fact, cut it off. I ain't never seen folks talk on the phone and don't have no money. If you're talking on the phone, you should be. You try to act. You wonder. You ain't making the right call. I talk to Jesus. That's what I was talking about there. Huh? Just try it. I tell you what. If you try it. Email me at Empowerment Life. What was the email? It'll be on the screen. Seriously. Email me or put something up there. Let me know you did it. Because I really want you to do that. Try it. One day. Everybody in your life is going to try to keep you from getting through that one day. I guarantee you. Guarantee you. But if you give yourself that one day, get you a pen and write down some things, make no contact, just chill and meditate. Then just close your eyes. I ain't said go to sleep all day now. But if you want to sleep, lay down. Put some meditation music on. Ain't got no words. Nobody ain't saying nothing to you. We got to get our spiritual immune system to the level where we cannot be infected so easily so that we can go through the other side of the flu huh calling economic crisis y'all better get ready I spent four dollars a gallon for gas I had three bags coming out of the grocery store $66. I said, man, you got to the council. <clears throat> Is that my Kroger's Plus on there? Run, run it again. Run, run it again. I said, huh? Y'all, listen, you better get ready. You better get ready now. You better get ready. I ain't trying to scare you. I'm trying to build you up. Because you're going to need to have your immune, your spiritual immune system at the highest level 
in these days and time. God's word implants his seed of blood in your mind. So when somebody try to knock you off your goal, guess what you do? You say, I'm going to talk to Jesus. I heard what you said. I heard what you said. Now listen to what you said. Thank you. It's going to be somebody close to you. Oh, them relatives, boy. I'm going to tell you right now, boy. <laughs> I love them. But Lord, have mercy. they got a lot of things to say. One other part I want to say is one thing about that movie was saying they had to find the host. They had to find the origin of where this come from. See, if you find yourself doing something that's way off of what you want to be doing, find out. Try to just sit down and just turn it back a little bit. You know, don't wait till you're behind bars and, and all that stuff and things don't went too bad. But if you are, deal with it. But just roll the tape back. Try to find out, how did I get here? I tell you what, I'm going to do one test and I'm going to stop. Write down every time you talk on the phone. Start there. How much time do you spend on the phone? Whatever you occupy yourself doing the most, that's your occupation. And if that ain't producing some money, get off the phone. And get on the phone with the right person. Somebody say amen. Come on here, give me a hand clap here. Give me a hand clap. We can start with a few things. We can start with small things, small things ends up putting you in big, big places. Hallelujah. I, sometimes I just want to open up your brain and just pour it in there. I said, Brian, why you always got some money? I didn't give it to Louie and Gucci. Well, you smell good. Thank you. It was Christmas gifts. Now, I'm not saying I don't spend no money. I mean, y'all know that's not true. But I love to spend some money now. I love to ball ball when I want to ball. But I ain't going to ball with my light bill. I ain't going to ball with my rent. <laughs> it's simple when you think about it. I ain't going to get my hair done for no $2,000. I ain't got that much of a head anyway. <laughs> Even if I had that, I'd go wash it out. You know what I'm saying? Hallelujah. <laughs> Hey man, y'all see it just it's funny to me. They, they, they be paying on hair. I saw the special where they paying on hair. They making payments on hair. Making payments on hair. They did. I saw the special. I saw the special making payments on hair. I said making payments on hair. Oh my! Hey, hello. Come on, man. Get a grip. People don't accept you for what you are. Just stop. Just stop. Slow it down. Oh, Lord, hallelujah. Have you any river that you think is uncrossable? And have you any mountain That you cannot tunnel through. W. God specializes oh, 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 in thing now that seems impossible. power God power can do hallelujah have you any affliction oh yeah that seem like can be cured
specializes oh, in things. Hallelujah now, it seems impossible. And I know, no, 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 he would do, he would do what no other power. Oh, 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 can do God 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 specializes oh, 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 in things and things that seem Impossible. Y'all know, y'all know, I know, I know, I know he will do no, he will do no. What no, 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 other the power, no, no, other the power. Somebody say yes! Somebody say yeah! Somebody say yes! In the morning when I rise, I'm gonna rise, hallelujah, and go to the bank. I ain't gonna wait to get up out no grave. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, let's pray, y'all. Come on, let's pray. Let's show them how we do it over here. Don't you feel better? Don't you feel better? We're going to build your immune system up so high, you ain't going to be able to catch no diseases from no, no slackers. Slackers ain't going to never have an opportunity to get in. Lord, we're so happy. We, so we thank you today for giving us our inoculation, our shot. Thank you for the shot. Thank you for the shot of your Holy Ghost and your power that will lift us up tomorrow. And we're so happy that the shots you give us make us immune. We can't catch nothing that protects us so much. And we thank you for protecting us so, so many times. Hallelujah for bringing us through the flu, for bringing us through all those sickness and ailments in our body. God, you touched us before we asked. So we don't need to ask you for nothing right now. We're just going to say thank you, thank you, thank you. In Jesus' name, amen.